Well, this was a little unexpected, but uh, really thankful uh, that I'm out here doing this. So, um, out with the Ripper, my little five shank brilliant, uh, getting a chance to do some fall tillage. Uh, it's it's cold here in Michigan. I think that's the reason why I'm able to be out here. Uh, the ground is frozen, uh, frozen pretty good, but not enough that the Ripper won't go into the ground. I better turn around. <laughs> so yeah, uh, really good conditions, I would say. Uh, haven't gotten too, too much done um, all together so far. It's probably 12, 13 acres. Um, but that's 12, 13 acres more that, than I thought I was gonna get to do. So uh, really happy right now. Uh, finished up officially with corn yesterday, so today is November 25th. Uh, delivered my last wagon in a little bit yesterday. Um, and then, yeah, uh, I can't go too long today. Uh, the team that I played for, Grand Valley State, is playing Pittsburgh State today um, in the playoffs, so my wife and I are heading to that. Uh, but it's a good feeling to get this part of the field done because this is uh, the most yield potential out of all my fields um, so it's good to get over it um, and who knows maybe we'll have decent enough conditions I can, I can keep uh, keep going so yeah we'll uh, we'll see it's actually good that it's colder and uh, um, because last year it seemed dry but and we got some snow but it wasn't cold enough that the ground didn't freeze so just didn't really have traction at all so uh thankful uh <laughs> thankful for out here and uh my brother and my mom are down in detroit today uh, my brother the school he is principal at uh kingsley is playing for a state title so they're there today Alyssa and i will be going to the grand valley playoff game but uh it's a good start to the day. Uh, it's a good uh, November 25th. Obviously a bit lazy uh, going from harvesting corn where you're always on and uh, no auto steer or anything like that. That's how I like it, combining, because you're paying attention to a lot of different things and uh, making sure everything is going good. But now obviously uh, back using the auto steer. about that um, if we can ever find a house or find some land uh, and build a house uh, we really want to she wants to decorate with rocks and the one thing that this field and a lot of our fields have are rocks so yeah <laughs> guess we have some yeah, put the steering wheel back down I'll probably go down and back one more time and that will probably have to be it for today so I not not late for things and rushing around so yeah not too bad of a day So I know we did a video uh, late summer about uh, 
potentially upgrading to the Starfire 7000. Uh, yeah, that was such a smart decision. This is the field that's been the Bermuda Triangle uh, every every season, and uh, it's been great. Um, which is good because then I'm able to uh, stripe the field uh, and not have to turn as sharp on the ends. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the the 7000. It was a uh, it was a good purchase. So uh, just finishing up for for what I'm going to do today, but uh, it's been a good day. <laughs>